Greece presents an interesting problem, of course. What's happened is that the past conservatism of a place like the United States gave it wonderful credit. A combination of success and conservatism. And we use that credit to win World War II and, and help revive Germany and Japan and one of the most constructive and intelligent foreign policy decisions ever made in the history of the world. And we've used that credit to help assure prosperity for all these decades in which Berkshire has flourished. And now, of course, the government does not have quite as good a credit as it had before it started using it so heavily. And that's happened pretty much all over the world. And so Greece is just the start of a very interesting period. And of course, it's, it's more dangerous to civilization when, when governments push their credit so hard because if you need credit to help civilization function and you've blown it by your own aggression and, and using it in the past, that's not a good thing. And I think in this country and in other countries too, responsible voices are now realizing that we're, we're nearer trouble from lack of government credit than we've been, well, in my lifetime. Yeah, you should always just say, everything you read about country credits, currency, you, you always want to make a, you always want to distinguish between countries that are borrowing in their own currency pretty much exclusively, like Japan has or the United States and countries that are being forced for one reason or another because the world doesn't trust them to borrow in in other countries currencies i mean in in the past you know if you, if you were some south american country and you were borrowing in your own currency i mean you could you never default you just you just buy a new printing press or work a little harder but the world doesn't like that sort of thing so with weaker credits and people, countries with poor reputations, they force those countries to borrow in other currencies, frequently the United States currency. And that, that can really put you out of business very quickly because you can't, if you're some South American country, you can't print US dollars, although you can print your own currency. And that's what's caused failures uh, among countries. The, Europe, the European Monetary Union, I mean, it, it, it's a really interesting situation because Greece, you know, they, they are a sovereign country in terms of their own budget, but they can't print their own currency. You know, they, 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 they've got the euro. And this is, you know, it, the euro was regarded as quite an experiment 20 years or whenever it was ago, but, uh, or less than that. But uh, you may be seeing sort of a test case play out here of a country that uh, is not using its own currency in effect or using a common currency and yet is sovereign in terms of making its own promises to its citizens. And uh, I don't know how this movie ends. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm forecasting disaster or anything. I really just don't know how this movie ends. And. I try not to go to movies like that if I can. It, uh, uh, but I'll be watching. I really, this, this, this will be high drama in my view, uh, what happens here.